What's happening, folks? Gerald here, aka JFro90, coming at you with another reaction, a very special one on Super Bowl Sunday. You know who I'm rooting for? Usher. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Super Bowl is always about the halftime show for me personally. I'm very excited to see this Super Bowl performance, performance that I've been meaning to see for years. This is Motown at the Super Bowl, and this is huge. And I was saving it. I had the idea to do this one last year, but no, I figure I'm going to save it for this year because I knew I would be moving to Detroit. <laughs> so here I am. I live in Detroit. I'm from Detroit. I work at the Motown Museum. I first caught wind of this performance probably when it was new. It was probably one of the first Super Bowl halftime performances I ever heard of because my favorite documentary on Motown, I've spoken about it many times in my Motown reactions, but Motown 40, This Music Is Forever, is the the Motown documentary, if you ask me. It's the best one. It's the one that gives the most details. Um, and it ends with Motown did the Super Bowl. And <laughs> I've never seen that performance, but I'm excited to see that performance. So um, before we get to it, I need you all to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell for notification. Now, without further ado, this is the Motown Super Bowl halftime show. Ladies and gentlemen, Radio City Productions and the National Football League proudly present the Royal Caribbean International and Celebrity Cruises Super Bowl 32 Halftime Spectacular. Celebrating 40 years of Motown. You got a smile so bright. <laughs> you got a smile so bright. <laughs> Frazier! You know you could have been a handle. The way you off the bad. You know you could have been a broom. Look at Martha! The way you smell so sweet. You know you could have been some perfume. I don't know them, but alright. Hey, news radio. Okay. The incomparable temptation. Ah! I never met a girl who makes me feel the way that you do. You're all right. Whenever I'm asked to make my dreams real, I say that you do. You're out of sight. So be my soul from. Look out, baby. It's here I come. Bring in your last dreams. Get ready. Get ready. Perfect starter song, perfect starter song. Hey, all right, four tops. Wait, that's the temptation too. Look at Smokey! All right. I've got sunshine on a cloudy 
All right now. Come on, Martha. <laughs> Come on, Martha. Come on, Queen. Come on, Queen. Come on. If you're a true football fan, then let me hear this whole stadium make some noise. Yeah. That's how we do it, baby. Hey. recording act today, boys to men. I didn't know they were a part of it. We matching, too. I love it. They had come on. Off our current LP evolution. This is my jam. A song for mama. They had to slow it down. Come on now. You tell me everything and everything you give me. I always keep it inside. You're the driving force in my life. Hey, there is anything or anyone that I could be, and it just wouldn't feel right. Shout out to mom. There were so many times looking back when I was so afraid. And then you come to me and say to me, I could face it. And no one else can do what you have done for me. You'll always be.
I need to watch Soul Food again to myself. I love that movie. And now for our grand Motown finale, welcome back our entire cast and Come our on. Grambling State University marching band. Calling out around the world, are you ready for a brand new beat? Summer's here and the time is right, dancing in the street. The desert in Chicago. Come on, Smokey. Come on, Queen. Come on, Timps. So that was fun. That was fun. And long overdue for me to see it. And I didn't even know Boyz II Men was a part of it. I knew they were a part of Motel. Again, I work at the museum. I see, we, I go past their picture every day. Same with Latifah. And I knew Latifah was a part of it. I, I guess they showed her um, in the documentary just right before going on stage, I think. But, um... And Martha looks so good, and Smokey sounded so good, and The Temptations. But I, where were the Four Tops? I'm a little... Where, 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 what's the story of why the Four Tops weren't there? That would have been great, man. But it was great. It was great. Would have loved it, too, if it was a Supremes reunion, but I'm going to cut this out. Anyway, anyway, shouts out to Motown. Shouts out to Motown. It's amazing that I live back here and that... I have the only job I ever wanted if I ever had to move back here. And here we are. And I love it. And the job is better than I thought, than I ever imagined it would be. It's great. And I'm surrounded by the music of my childhood and the space that that music was created in. And where we honor these people that a lot of the industry today don't even recognize. I'd, I'd be, you don't hear artists talking about certain Motown, you don't hear artists talking about Martha Reeves like they should, like Smokey Robinson, like they should, and, you know, hell, even Queen Latifah at this point, like they should, and, um, it's great to be in a space where they are represented and respected, and to see them on that level, on that level, that is so massive, that is so massive, the Super Bowl stage, and, man, uh, shout out forever to Motown, one of the best record labels that ever were. 
And um, hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please go ahead and like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. In the description below, you'll find all the social media where you can follow me on. If you would like to join my Patreon where you'll get exclusive content like this, extended extended content to um, that information in the description. I would love to have you on board. And then lastly, just thank you for even taking this time to push play on the video today. That means so much to me and it goes a very long way. And beyond everything else you all, please take care of yourselves and each other.